Hey audio fam, if you're looking for a tool to help improve your mixes, the Greg Wells Mixcentric plugin that I've got here might be just what you need. This is a magical plugin that you can add on your master fader after you finish mixing, and it will add a nice polished sound to your mix. I'm going to show you what that sounds like, but before I do, I just want to mention that if at any point during the video you'd like to check out the plugin for yourself, I have provided a link in the description that will take you right to it. Feel free to click on that at any time. Okay, let's hear this in action. I'm gonna show you a before and after comparison with and without the Greg Wells plugin. Here we go. As you can hear, there is way more presence and way more clarity when the GW plugin is on. And this plugin is doing a lot under the hood to achieve this. It's using EQ, compression, even harmonic distortion to your mix, but you control all of that with this single knob. Very powerful concept. And I honestly kind of thought this plugin would be snake oil before trying it, but since using it, I've become a big fan. So uh, I'll show you how Waves instructs you how to use this plugin. So this is to be used after you're finished mixing your song. So once you feel confident and comfortable with the mix that you've got with your song, you're gonna add the Greg Wells Mix Centric onto your master fader. And from here, you're gonna go to, your, to the loudest part of your song and when you play it, uh, you're going to adjust this input fader until you see this uh, fake LED light indicator. When you see that become a solid yellow, that's when you know you've reached the optimal setting. So you want it to look something like this. So as you can see in my example, it did dip down a little bit into the green color, uh, but I was totally fine with it. I think the sound was great, and even though it was in the green, it wasn't there for very long. It just barely dipped down, so I was fine with it. I thought the sound that I got from it was great. So as long as you are a solid yellow color for the most part of the loudest part of your song, I think you'll be just fine. After this, you're gonna go to the intensity knob, the almighty one knob that controls everything. And I mean, obviously it's just one knob. You really can't go right or wrong, depending on where you put it. Uh, it's just one of those things that you have to rely on your ears to tell you when it sounds good to you. So I'll play it again, show you where I have it set, and then I'll, I'll crank it up, I'll crank it back to show you just how versatile this knob really is. And then from here, you're going to adjust your output fader right here as much as needed to match the level of what your mix was originally. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, at least in the right ballpark. And how I did it was I just disabled the plugin. Let me disable this limiter as well. And uh, all I did from here was I saw where my peak level of my mix was hitting, and then I tried to match that. Um, by taking this output down quite a bit. 
So this is what levels my mix was hitting at before the plug-in. So around the minus seven range. And then after I had taken the volume down quite a bit in the output, I got it close enough. So obviously it's going over seven, um, but I didn't mind this at all. Uh, it was close enough to me. And again, it sounded good. So I wasn't worried about getting it astronomically perfect. And that's uh, basically it, friends. By using this plugin uh, and a limiter of choice, as you saw me use in here, uh, you really can achieve not only a good mix, but also potentially an acceptable master of your song. Great plugin. I highly recommend it. And just as a reminder, I've got a link in the video description that will take you to the Greg Wells Mix Centric plugin. If there's any questions you have that I didn't cover in this video, or better yet, you want to buy the plugin, go ahead and click on that link and it will take you right to the product. It doesn't cost you anything extra and you will be supporting me in a very big way and I will be so grateful to you folks if you're willing to do that for me. But uh, with that, thank you so much for watching today. This is CJ with Prodigy Creations. Until next time, my friends.